Hello from Costa Rica. We are in the Guanacaste Air Park. Early departure for a flight of two. Scenic flight then land at La Cueva in Guanacaste. We did our pre-flights. During my pre-flight, I had my friend distracting me and look at the picture here, what I have on top of the left wing. For me, it's the first time that something like this happens. It is totally my fault, not my friend's fault for distracting me. But it happened and I left a fuel cap on top of the wing. Here's the takeoff from Guanacaste Airport. Beautiful, calm morning for flying. I waited a little bit and did a longer takeoff roll so I don't get in the turbulence, the wet turbulence of my friend's airplane. Here I'm turning to join him and do a flight of two. He had a camera on the tail of his airplane, so I was trying to get close information so he can film my airplane. About 20 minutes into the flight, I start to see my fuel gauges left side with a lot less fuel. And I knew that when we took off, we had 57 gallons total. And in 20 minutes, I have lost like 20 gallons. I use size fuel centers and aerospace logic fuel gauges. They work very well and they are very accurate. So I fully trust them. The flight continues. I check the fuel gauge. Less fuel now. I look over my left shoulder to see if there is fuel coming out. I cannot see anything, but I was suspecting that I left the fuel cap off. If you look closely on the video, you can see on the wing that there is like a white kind of steam coming out now and then. That's the fuel coming out of the fuel tank. At this point, I decided to cut short the flight and fly directly to the closest airport, which is La Cueva in Guanacaste Peninsula, Costa Rica. I kept looking over my left shoulder to see if I can see any fuel coming out, but I could not see it. I'm really glad I have these fuel gauges and the size fuel sender because I really trust them compared to the Cessna fuel gauge that is bouncing all the time, I will not have been alert so quickly of the fuel loss. Here I'm turning left base to land at the Cueva. When I dip the wing down for the left base turn, I did see a lot of fuel coming out of the wing. Really, it was a lot of fuel. Cueva is a private airstrip, very close to Liberia International Airport. Very nice, long, smooth grass runway. So when I landed at La Cueva, I had 23 gallons. It means that I lost 34 gallons in 30 minutes. I have Monarch fuel caps in my Cessna 182. They have a security chain in case you don't put the cap, you will not lose it. But in my plane, that chain has been gone long time ago. Monarch caps also have an anti-siphon flap 
to prevent from fuel coming out. I mean, f fuel will come out, but with less amount uh, if you don't have that flap. So even with the flap, I was losing about one gallon per minute. So I cannot imagine what will happen if you just have the regular Cessna fuel cap, and if you lose it, it's a hole there with no cap stopping any fuel. So with a fuel cap out and a flap trying to stop the fuel, I was losing about one gallon per minute, which it is a lot. Something that surprised me is that I could not see any fuel coming out just by looking to my left shoulder under the wing. But now I know, I hope it never happens again. If you dip the wing, you have a lot of fuel coming out. So if you ever suspect that you left the fuel cap or you lost it, when you look at behind your left shoulder, dip the wing to the left to see if fuel comes out. If you keep level, it will not come out as much, so you won't be able to see. So here, taking off from La Cueva to go directly to Guanacaste Air Park. Should be a 15 minute flight. We have tailwind, so maybe less. I will try to make this flight as quickly as possible. It looks like we made it. I'm making a very shallow base turn. Since it is to the right, I'm not that worried. When I landed back at Guanacaste Airport, I had 13 gallons. I think I have never landed with this small amount of fuel ever in my session 182. So, big lesson learned here. This can be a dangerous mistake. Make sure nobody distracts you during your pre flight. And if you suspect you're losing fuel, dip the wing that you think is losing the fuel and check for fuel loss. Also, keep always an eye on your fuel gauges. I'm going to show you a new strip for me. This is in Turrialba, Costa Rica southeast of San Jose. This is a beautiful airstrip. Early morning flight with calm winds, so I did uh, practice to land from the eastern end with the trees as obstacles just for train. This airstrip is quite long and it is very smooth. The go around toward the lake is very easy and has no obstacles. Now I'm taking off and I would stay in ground effect just for practice for a bit. As you can see there's no obstacles towards the lake. This is a private airstrip but the owner is very welcoming to general aviation. This airstrip here is Chiroles, it's near the border with Panama on the Atlantic side. It's gravel, kind of big rocks, it is long. Some trees are tall and they're hanging out with long branches over the airstrip. In this area of the country, the population are mostly Indians and they're very welcoming and friendly. Many times we have landed here just to go for a quick breakfast and it's just walking distance. So it's a great opportunity to visit the area. Usually the people gather around the airplane because it's not very common. Not many airplanes fly to this area of the country. Now for the takeoff, 
you're going to see that I get airborne, but I stay in ground effect, and I will go under a tree branch that is quite big and is hanging over the airstrip. You can see right there is where I'm going under the branches, and then I start to climb. This is a very remote area of Costa Rica. It is beautiful, the people are friendly, and it's a great pleasure to, to come to this area and fly. And sometimes in Christmas, I fill up the airplane with toys and with a friend we fly here and give the toys to the kids. Hope you guys enjoy and see you next time.